Welcome to Electron Online. Now that we've seen what a Laplace transform is, what is the inverse Laplace transform? Well, here we have the general definition of the Laplace transform. The Laplace transform of a function in the time domain is equal to a function in the frequency domain, or also called the S domain, which can be calculated using this integral, where we simply take the function over here and plug it into this integral, multiply times e to the minus st, multiply times dt, and integrate it from zero to infinity. So we should be able to go backwards, and yes, there is indeed a mathematical way to go backwards. We could take the inverse transfer, Laplace transfer, of the function in the frequency domain, which then becomes a function in the time domain, and it can be calculated using this integral right here. But that's a very complex integral, and it's using complex integration, and so that's really beyond the scope of what we're trying to do here. We can do that, but that's pretty well graduate level mathematics, and at some other time I'll show you how to do that. But at this point, what we're going to show you is that you can simply use the integral tables, or I shouldn't say the integral, I should say the transfer tables, to go from one to the other. In other words, we know how to take the Laplace transform of a function in the time domain to get a function in the frequency domain, and here's an example of that. If we start with e to the minus a t as the function in the time domain, we can then use a Laplace transform to find what it is in the frequency domain, 1 over s plus a. And then to go backwards, we can simply take 1 over s plus a and assume that the inverse Laplace transform of that will give us back the original equation e to the minus a t. For example, here is the indication of how to find the inverse transform, it's l to the minus 1, of the function in the frequency domain. So this can then be set to be equal to the inverse transform of 1 over s plus a. And assuming that since 1 over s plus a is the Laplace transform of the original function, we should be able to go backwards. And so this is then equal to the function in the time domain, which is then equal to e to the minus a times t. So all we're going to do here is simply use the transfer tables where we take the function in the frequency domain and simply look up what the equivalent function is in the time domain using the tables. And we're going to bypass actually trying to integrate in that very complex for fashion the inverse transform. And that's how we'll do it. And we'll show you some examples of how to actually use the tables to get the inverse transform or the inverse Laplace transform of the frequency of the main functions.